Have you ever dreamed of finding another Earth out there? A place where life could flourish just like it does here? Well, the quest for Earth 2.0 might not be as far-fetched as you think. Scientists are on the hunt for exoplanets, planets outside our solar system that could potentially support life. Get ready because we're about to blast off and explore some contenders for the title of Earth 2.0. So here we go. KOI 5715.01 This planet is a real standout when it comes to potentially habitable worlds. It's a big, rocky planet hanging out in the habitable zone of its star. That sweet spot where temperatures could allow for liquid water. KOI 5715.01 is almost twice the size of Earth, which means it could have even more diverse environments for life to take hold. While it might be a tad chillier than our planet, its atmosphere could make all the difference. One interesting thing is that this planet orbits a different kind of star than our sun. It circles an orange dwarf star, which is cooler than our yellow dwarf sun. Orange dwarfs are also incredibly stable, sticking around for way longer than our sun will, like for up to 70 billion years. That extra time could give life some truly incredible opportunities to evolve. Of course, there's a catch. KOI 5715.01 is super far away. About three 3,000 light years away. Even our fanciest spacecraft would take over 100,000 years to get there. For now, Earth 2.0 hunting is mostly limited to planets in our cosmic neighborhood due to the limitations of our current technology. TRAPPIST-1 SYSTEM Scientists have discovered a whole system of Earth-sized planets about 39 light years away. They named it the TRAPPIST-1 system. And guess what? Three of these planets might be able to support life. Astronomers spotted them back in 2017 when they noticed the system's star dimming a tiny bit each time a planet passed in front of it. Now, the TRAPPIST-1 system is wildly different from ours. Their star is a little red dwarf barely bigger than Jupiter. The planets hug their star super close even closer than Mercury orbits our sun. This means they might be tidally locked, one side always scorching hot and the other permanently frozen. But here's where things get interesting. There could be a narrow strip between the hot and cold sides where life might just be possible. Plus, these planets are packed together, so imagine looking up and seeing other planets huge in your sky. Someday, we might be able to hop between these worlds as we travel between countries now. These planets are way older than Earth. Scientists think one of them, Trappist-1, 1E could have liquid water and even more oxygen in its atmosphere than we do. Maybe it's even better suited for life than Earth. Kepler 22b. This one comes in with a whole lot of mystery thrown in. Discovered in 2011, this planet lives in its star's habitable zone. This special region means temperatures could be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. And as far as we know, water is absolutely crucial for life. Kepler 22b is a biggie, about 2.4 times the size of Earth, and its star is similar to our good old sun. These factors raise scientists' hope that it could could be a cozy place for life, but here's where things get tricky. We don't actually know what it's made of. It could be a gassy giant like Neptune, or it might have a rocky surface and an enormous ocean, potentially teeming with alien sea critters. Even though Kepler-22b is chilling in the habitable zone, it's on the cooler outer edge. This means it might get less warmth from its star than Earth does from ours. Whether that translates into a less friendly environment is the big question scientists are itching to answer. Tea Gardens Star B. This is a fascinating exoplanet because it hangs out within its star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures could be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Tea Gardens Star B is also pretty similar to Earth in terms of size and mass. This is important because it suggests that the planet is likely rocky, just like ours. Another promising factor is that its star, Tea Gardens Star, is a red dwarf. These stars are much smaller and cooler than our sun, but also tend to be very stable and long-lived. That means Tea Garden Star B has been bathed in relatively gentle light for a long time, increasing the possibility for life to develop. Of course, there are challenges too. We need to figure out if Tea Garden Star B has an atmosphere, and if that atmosphere can protect it from potentially harmful stellar flares. Plus, scientists are still working to calculate just how wide that habitable zone around the Red Dwarf really is. But Tea Garden Star Star system is relatively close to us, only around 12 light years away. 
away. This makes it a prime target for future observations with telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. With more powerful tools, we might be able to analyze Tea Garden Star B's atmosphere and search for signs of life like oxygen or methane. Kepler 186f. This planet was discovered by the Kepler telescope a few years back. It's exciting because it's the first planet found that's roughly Earth sized and hangs out in that sweet spot around its star, the habitable zone where liquid water could exist. Kepler 186f is a bit bigger than Earth, about 10% larger, and gets way less sunlight, only about 30% of what Earth receives. That probably means it's a much colder place, but here's the thing we have no clue about its atmosphere. If its atmosphere is thicker than ours, it could trap more heat and actually be pretty comfy on the surface. Now, there are some weird things about Kepler 186f. It orbits a small, cool star called a red dwarf. This type of star mostly throws out infrared light instead of the visible light we're used to. Any life evolving there would have adapted to use that energy, so plants or animals might have totally different colors than ours that we see on Earth. Also, to stay snuggled up uh, to a smaller star like this, the planet has to be super close. This results in again tidal locking. The same way our moon always shows us the same face, one side of Kepler 186f is always baking in starlight while the other side is permanently frozen. But scientists think if Kepler 186f has a thick enough atmosphere, crazy strong winds like hundreds of miles per hour that could whip heat from the scorched side to the cold side, potentially making conditions more life friendly across the whole planet. It'd be a windy world, but hey, maybe that's where life finds a way. Luton B. This is a fascinating world, only 12 light years away. This planet is special because it hangs out in its star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures could be just right for liquid water. Water often means the potential for life, making Luton B a super intriguing target for scientists searching for extraterrestrial neighbors. Now, Luton B is classified as a super Earth, meaning it's rockier and bigger than our home planet. This could potentially transform translate to more atmosphere and the possibility of even more water than what we have on Earth. But here's where things get weird. Luton B orbits a tiny cool star called a red dwarf, totally unlike our sun. It orbits so closely that one side of the planet is always roasting in starlight, while the other side is locked in eternal darkness. Despite this extreme environment, scientists believe there still might be a narrow band on Luton B, a sort of twilight zone between the scorching and frozen sides where temperatures could be mild enough for life as we know it to take hold. It's a long shot, but discovering life in such a bizarre place would completely change our understanding of where and how life can survive in the universe. Gliese 667 CC. It's what we call a super Earth. Bigger than our own world, but smaller than the huge gas giant like Neptune. This exoplanet orbits a cool red dwarf star, and luckily for potential life, it sits right in the star's habitable zone. Scientists think Gliese 667 CC is about 1.5 times the size of Earth, but that could change depending on what it's made of. It was discovered in 2011 using a technique that looks for tiny wobbles in a star's light caused by a planet's gravity. This planet gets a bit more radiation from its star than Earth does, so it's probably a bit warmer. And Gliese 667 CC is tidally locked. Proxima Centauri b. This is the closest exoplanet we'll ever find to Earth. Think about it. This potentially Earth-like world is just 4.2 light years away. It's just a cosmic hop, skip, and a jump compared to other exoplanets we know of. Now, Proxima Centauri b orbits a star called Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf that's much smaller than our sun, about 10% the size. Despite the smaller star, Proxima b still receives about 70% of the energy Energy Earth does. Scientists also think it might be slightly bigger than our planet and about 30% more massive. But here's the catch. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri can be fiery little beasts. They often throw out powerful stellar flares, bursts of radiation that could seriously fry any life on a nearby planet and potentially even strip away its entire atmosphere. Another challenge is that Proxima b is probably tidally locked to its 
star. Despite these hurdles, there's still a sliver of hope. Red dwarfs live incredibly long lives. Think hundreds of billions of years. That's a lot of time for life to potentially evolve and bounce back after those nasty flares. And with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we're getting closer to actually studying the atmospheres of exoplanets, especially those orbiting smaller, dimmer stars. Who knows what secrets Proxima B might be hiding? Kepler B 452b. Imagine stumbling upon Earth's twin, a world so similar to our own, it's earned the nickname Earth 2.0. That's Kepler 452b. This intriguing planet orbits a star much like our sun, and its year is just a tad longer than ours at 384 days, which means 32 days per month. This is about as close to Earth like conditions as we found out there. Kepler 452b is a super Earth because it's about 50% larger than our home planet. That extra size could mean vast continents and maybe even more oceans. On the downside, due to its stronger gravity, everything on Kepler 452b would feel twice as heavy. Kepler 452b seems to be the only planet hanging out with its star. Remember how we have Jupiter, that giant planet some scientists think would help shield us from space rocks? Kepler 452b doesn't have its own protective giant, but computer models suggest that actually might be a good thing, because it means Kepler 452b likely gets hit by asteroids less often than we do. Even with all its Earth-like qualities, Kepler 452b does have a challenge. Its star is a bit older than our sun. Older stars tend to get brighter and hotter over time, which could eventually make Kepler 452b toasty and even cause something called a runaway greenhouse effect. Definitely bad news for anything hoping to live there. The search for Earth 2.0 is a thrilling, ongoing quest. Imagine discovering a planet just like ours, maybe with its own life forms. If you could visit any of these potential Earth twins, which would you choose and why? Tell us in the comments below. Hit that like button, subscribe to the rocket, and smash that bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next one. Till then, keep exploring.